Recently, I've deleted my Tumblr, which is a good weight off my shoulders because I've been getting a bunch of annoying, annoying email notifications now that I have all my emails in one spot, which is my Gmail account, since my MSN account has locked me out, as it has for multiple people. And you really have to put in money to get that disabled account back. No, it hasn't been hacked. It's just MSN is tricky like that. And Hotmail is an outdated place. Even my live account is outdated as all hell. But it's interesting that I deleted my Tumblr because I was getting annoyed by just the nature of Tumblr, the Tumblr rights, and the fact that I've had a Tumblr account since February of 2011, and I've been bored of Tumblr since July of 2011. Occasionally I'll look for funny memes that I can put on my Facebook page, which annoys the Tumblr rights because they have a deep and venomous hatred for Facebookers that surprise surpasses actually their hatred for Redditors and nonetheless she is annoying I had 218 followers in my Tumblr account because I've promoted my account many times in the summer of 2012 which astounds me because I have 169 YouTube subscribers as of today. Last month, in the merry month of May, I had 181 subscribers. Which means that I must be doing something wrong. Whatever it is, I'm not going to sweat it at all. But, when we get to the subject, things I've learned in my ANCAP days. Back in my ANCAP days, we used this word a lot. The word statist. If you denied anything ANCAP wise, it was assumed that you were a statist. And what is a statist? Someone who believes in the necessity of the state. And a lot of people in real life, and this is something that's interesting, if you tell them that the state is useless and ridiculous and that they're a status, they'll outright deny it, even though most people are status. At the moment, since I dropped the ANCAP drivel since December of 2012, I'm a status. And yet these people that hold these natural, logical viewpoints, I'm not going to say natural, but logical, practical at the moment, they outright deny it. And then you have a bunch of vegetarians on the internet that our status argue for statism, but they do it in a way to create knee-jerk reactions. They say things like, what about the roads? Oh, well, now that I think about it, this is the same for things like racist and sexist. You see, because you could outright deny any concept of racism or sexism but if you believe in any of the underlying views that annoy racists and sexists you are a sexist you are a racist and in fact a lot of the vegetarians a lot of people that hate on people that hate on racism and sexism they do it from an edutarian, knee-jerk perspective, because they want a knee-jerk reaction. 
A lot of these trolls are trying to get a knee-jerk reaction, and they're trying to trigger people. Are people that are triggered themselves. They're people that are annoyed by this themselves. And so you have a bit of a double binding issue. Because the more you annoyed you are, the more annoying you become. The more annoying you become, the more annoyed you are. That's problematic. And because of things like this, I'm starting to realize that it's difficult, it is challenging to take on a term like, and declassify a term like racism and sexism, because unlike statism, which is totally absurd and impractical, and no one's going to become an anti-statist on a mass scale, somehow we are all knowledgeable in terms of racism and sexism. They've been indoctrinated into us since elementary school and in a streamlined since kindergarten too or preschool. Sharing is caring. They don't necessarily tell you racism is bad and prejudicial Thoughts are bad, discrimination is bad, even though discrimination and prejudice I mean the opposite things. They don't tell you all that. At least not for me. Maybe I went to a bad kindergarten or pre-K or a good one. But they hand you to bits and pieces. Lots of people become anarchists through the system. They become anti-status through the system become anti-racist through the system and that anti-racism goes through stages like the anti-sexism it's like the anti-statism in a way whoever high school ANCAP phase and it's transition to the more Noam Chomsky-esque phase and then little by little and they are the status quo. These Tumblrites, sooner or later, they'll drop their Jezebel and become like everyone else. Become like the generic Obama age thinkers. Or the future Hillary age thinkers, if Hillary is the next president. Who knows? Who cares? It is hard to deal with subjects like this because no matter how absurd they seem, It's something that's built within the structure. People aren't anti-racist, anti-sexist, because they've been indoctrinated to believing that's the right thing to think of. But they don't notice how much that has been trend, that has been like manufactured into them. And even if they realize it, they probably won't care at that point. They probably think it'll be a good change because they've been fully institutionalized. And that's not going to change anytime soon. But I really don't care. This is Mr. Rocket 7. And suck my dick.